Exponential patterns are common in natural systems, but the implication of ex exponential growth and decay can be hard to comprehend. The story of the wheat and the chessboard is a good way to introduce this challenge. There are many variations of the story, but the basic idea is that a wise man once asked a king to reward him by giving him as much wheat as could fit on a chessboard based on the following pattern. Place one grain of wheat on the first square, two on the second, four on the third, and continue doubling the number of grains on each square until the entire board is full. Most people's intuition is that this won't add up to very much wheat. That was the king's reaction, but after agreeing, he discovered that the 64 square of the board requires an astoundingly large number of wheat grains, 922 followed by 16 zeros. For perspective, this is equal to roughly 5,000 years of U.S. wheat production using modern technology. That's more wheat than has ever been grown. It's enough wheat to fill 168 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. The reason these questions trick us is that this is an exponential relationship, and we do not have an intuitive sense of exponential patterns. We see these small increases at the start of the set and fail to appreciate how quickly these continued doublings create large numbers. Exponential patterns are not limited to abstract situations like calculating the amount of wheat that can fit on a chessboard. Many natural systems contain parameters that vary over ranges that make exponential notation useful in describing them. Electromagnetic energy is an example. Types of electromagnetic energy range from long wavelength, low energy radio waves to extremely short wavelength, high energy, x-ray, and gamma radiation. We measure, describe, and compare different types of electromagnetic energy using the energy's wavelength. The length of, a radi of radio waves are measured in meters, while gamma rays are measured in femtometers. One femtometer is equal to the number one with 14 zeros between it and the decimal place. This range of values is almost as large as the difference between the number of grains of wheat on the first and the 64th square of the chessboard. Sound intensity is another scale that covers a huge range. We measure sound using the decibel scale. This scale ranges from one decibel, which is the lower limit of human hearing, to values well over 100 decibels, which are dangerously loud and can damage the human ear. The Richter scale for earthquakes covers a range of motion from shakes that are below detection to ones that can destroy large buildings and are felt miles away. pH, the scale we use to describe the acidity of solutions, also describes an exponential pattern. The pH scale goes from 0 to 14 and is used to describe the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. The highest value, 14, has the lowest hydrogen ion concentration, and the lowest value, 0, has the highest hydrogen ion concentration. Each single step down from 14 to 0 represents a concentration of hydrogen ions that is 10 times greater than the previous one. Just like the number of grains of wheat in on the 64 square, all of these are examples of ranges and values that we have trouble conceptualizing even though we have well-developed methods for calculating and discussing them. While many find it relatively easy to write large and small numbers, it is important also to keep in mind the implications of needing to use scientific notation. These changes and values are huge. So huge that it is easy for us to be tricked by them. Our brains are not well suited to intuitively understand values like one trillion.